If we want to operate our ships safely and efficiently, we need to work as a team. And teams that work best are those where team members feel valued, where they treat each other with respect and dignity. Where people judge me on how well I do my job, and not by my religion or nationality, or the color of my skin, or my sexual orientation, or the way I look, or by my age, or my lack of experience. But too often, assumptions, ignorance, and prejudice take center stage and result in bullying and harassment, which can lead to a great deal of personal suffering. I feel I am now considered inferior, and people are starting to make jokes about my sexuality. I did not go to sea to be demeaned, insulted, sexually harassed, and disrespected, and verbally abused. Bullying and harassment can affect all on board, those who endure personal suffering and those who may observe the suffering of others. Bullying and harassment can create emotional stress which may affect the safe and efficient running of our ships. When you also consider the legal claims, the bad publicity, the effect it has on recruitment, it's clear that bullying and harassment is bad for people, it's bad for business, and it must stop. Bullying includes verbal or physical threats or abuse, spreading malicious rumors in person or by text, email, the internet, and ridiculing a person in private or in front of others, making unreasonable demands, derogatory statements or remarks, excessive supervision or monitoring, persistent or unjustified criticism. The call is cleaning. This thing should shine. If this is the best you can do, we're going to have words. Muddy content. For goodness sake, the ball bearings are supposed to be inside the case and not all over the place. Well, pick them up then. What do you call this? Mine's in the spot. It's a piece of rag. Can't clean shit with this. I want you to do things properly and not always mess up. You gotta learn these things if you're gonna be a good engineer. Now go to stores and get a new mop head. Mop of dudes. What was that? Nothing. Why are you picking on me? Oh, you think I am, do you? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do. You're incompetent. That's not fair. Oh, really? Managers need to give clear instructions so that people know what's expected of them. And that may include constructive criticism, dealing with poor performance, disciplinary procedures. But bullying is something else. Should shine. For goodness sake. Some bullies take pleasure from seeing vulnerable people suffer. Why are you picking on me? Some think a victim's response is nothing more than a personality clash or an attitude problem. Some simply don't realize the impact that their behavior has on others. Well, you heard it. You've got to make sure that people know what's expected of them. No, he was a bully, and it looked like he enjoyed it. <laughs> the trouble with you youngsters is you don't know when someone's doing you a favor. And what favor is that then? Well, being hard on you, making sure you know when you've made mistakes, so you don't make them again. He undermined him, made him look and feel stupid. That's rubbish. He's a manager. He's just doing his job. 
Sorry. I thought we were living in the 21st century, not the Dark Ages. But it was good enough for me! Was it? Good enough for you? So that's how you were treated when you first started? So? And how did you feel about it at the time? Upset? Disrespected? Made to feel that you couldn't do anything right? Sometimes, I suppose. That's, That's not, not the way to do it. Come on, pay attention. Can't you do anything right? Just like our cadet, he was upset. At one point, he was actually going to leave. And he didn't deserve any of it. You don't get the best out of people by bullying them. Harassment is another form of bullying. It violates the dignity of a person and creates an intimidating, hostile, humiliating or offensive environment. It can be based on innuendo, mockery, lewd or racist jokes or remarks, lack of respect for a person's racial or ethnic origin. I told you when you arrived, the standards expected on this ship, mine particularly. I never did trust Turkish girls. You remake the beds in cabins 1, 9, 17 and 26. I also want a complete change of towels in these cabins, and from now on they will be changed alternate days, not every third. Understood. These are not folded correctly, and there's dust in that cupboard. I am very disappointed in you. I do not think that is fair. I've made right all you said to do. You think so? I do, and it's not right to tell my staff my work is bad. I will decide that. Any laundry woman working under me has to learn my standards quickly, or she does not stay laundry woman for long. I know how that girl feels. Thanks to you. Me? Your comments and remarks. You criticize my food, the color of my skin, my culture, my language. And why every time we pass each other do you have to tap me on the head? Don't you understand that in some cultures, touching is very offensive? Oh, come on. You're overreacting. I mean, you lot are far too sensitive. My lot. How do you think that makes me feel? How did she feel? I never did trust Turkish girls. Turkish girls. Turkish girls. Turkish girls. Turkish girls. Absolutely no respect. Know something? You're just not worth it. Huh. Touch it. Think so. Well, you hurt him. He asked you how you thought he felt about your attitude, some of your remarks. Any ideas? Who knows what he thinks? It's a lack of respect for who and what I am. I want to be part of the team, but I feel shut out all the time. He thinks I'm inferior. Others have started talking too. I have my dignity. This ship is my home, but there is nowhere I can hide. I wonder how he would like it. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No more. Okay? Okay. Of course, it's not just managers who sometimes bully. There are many cases where managers have been totally undermined by the prejudices and bullying of their staff. And as you have just seen, similar problems occur between crew members of the same rank. That is bad enough. But when harassment in particular is sexually motivated, the situation often becomes intolerable. Have you got all the logs? Um, buying as I go. I've got someone I could loan you. Oh, um... 
squeeze CD? Oh, yeah. One week. They go missing. Great. There's a good chapter on sextants in there. you meet, do ya? Can't take a bit of fun. Girls at sea just don't cut it. Wait till you work for one! Idiot. Well, I mean, that's just unacceptable. Touching like that? Certainly not. You've never touched me, have you? Of course I haven't. You've wanted to, though. That's rubbish. You and me? How about it? How's the boyfriend? Lucky man. Because if you want a real man, someone who knows how to please, could be good for you. Career prospects. Know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> but I never... Touched me? No, but your remarks are just as bad. Worse, actually. It's just a bit of fun. Not for me. Comments. Every day. Relentless. At work, in the mess, at lunchtime, before lunchtime. You seem to be always there. Always got something to say. Suggestive. Disgusting. You've no respect. Okay, okay. <laughs> God, you women are so sensitive. Really? How's your daughter? Amy, isn't it? What, she's 20 now? Yeah, next month. Why? Trying to be an engineer. In a large workshop, Shoreside. Lots of men around. So? She's found it tough being a girl in a male-dominated environment. People thinking she's not as good as the men. Inferior. And then the banter. The comments. The sexual advances. Sexual advances? How would you feel? Well, I'd be angry. I'd be really angry. Furious, even? Of course. I want to go around and sort it all out. It would be unacceptable. Totally. You don't think you're being a bit oversensitive, then? After all, isn't it just a bit of fun? Technology may have revolutionized our industry, but it has also given those who would bully and harass a powerful means of inflicting a great deal of personal misery on work colleagues. Cyberbullying is like a virus because it can be passed on using social media sites and text or email. Its victims can become deeply depressed and some have been driven to suicide. <laughs> You are so annoying. Get a life. Who else thinks that Medenko smells? Smells bad. I don't know why you think people like you. They don't. <laughs> Bullying and harassment in any form is unacceptable. If it's happening to people we know, we must take a stand. And let's also remember that if bullying and harassment is allowed to prosper on board, we could become victims ourselves. She, she persecuted me. You believe what you've been told to be the case? I mean, you don't think that this woman could be suffering from some sort of persecution complex? I don't. But they're both adult women. Can't they sort it out between themselves? OK, I'll have a word with Weber. Now that's the best you can do. We've got to have but one. not every observer is willing to step forward, and bullying and harassment is often hidden from public view, which means the victims themselves have a very difficult decision to make. Morning, sir. Right, I've had enough. They can't treat me like some criminal just because I'm gay. I'm going to see the master. You sure this is wise? Maybe not, but I'm doing it anyway. 
troublemaker. That's what they'll call you. Recriminations. It'll only make things worse. Always does. Maybe just forget about it. Better in the long run. Everything going all right? Actually, sir, I was wondering if I could have a word. Uh, Mike, are you all right for the health and safety in the morning? Yeah, sorry, did you want to say something? No, it's all right, sir. OK. okay. I'm sorry about this, Sally. Dixon's a capable officer. Well, I'm sorry too, but I thought I should come and see you about it. Of course. You were right to do so. OK. I'll have him in shortly. I know this may perhaps seem silly, but you are certain about what happened, I mean... You mean, am I sure I didn't lead him on? Well, yes, I guess that is what I mean. I'm certain that I didn't. Thank you. However unsavoury, it's my responsibility to try to sort this out, and, well, I'm a seafarer, not a trained psychologist. I didn't want this to happen, believe me. For those at the receiving end of bullying and harassment, there is little escape. Having the courage to raise it is never going to be easy, but it must be done, for it is the only way of ending the torment that most victims endure. Companies have a responsibility to ensure victims know that when they do step forward, they will be taken seriously, not laughed at or ridiculed, for that is no way to stop bullying and harassment. And stop it we must, for it has no place on board. Occasionally, the only way we can stop persistent offenders is to remove them. They may well go on to face consequences, including legal action, since in many countries, harassment is against the law. But most of the time, we can stop it by spreading awareness, by letting people know that aggressive management styles can be a form of bullying. That remarks about race, colour, culture and religion are highly offensive and totally unacceptable, as are unwanted sexual advances and inappropriate behaviours. The guidelines that are part of this programme are included to enlighten those who would bully and to support those who feel they are being bullied or harassed because of age, marital status, sex, sexual orientation or disability because of race, religious belief, nationality, or gender reassignment. Bullying and harassment on board is the exception rather than the rule. In many cases, it can be stopped simply by making the perpetrators aware of the effect their behavior is having on others. Sometimes, stopping it is not that easy. But it must be stopped, because bullying and harassment destroys morale, destroys teamwork and creates severe emotional stress which could compromise the safe running of our ships. And to stop it, there is one thing we can do. Every person has the right to do their jobs without suffering harassment or bullying and to be treated with respect and dignity. So know the procedures on your ship and know who to turn to because now is the time to say no to bullying and say no to harassment.